what's happening, fellas. Feast your eyes on probably the best engine that Kawasaki has ever built. Kawasaki Heavy Industries, uh, maker of large, heavy industrial equipment, airplanes, all kinds of planes, trains, and, and uh, they're, they're a very highly technical company. And when they designed this 650 in 1987, they hit one right out of the park. When they designed this originally in the mid-80s and it was first produced in 1987, they really hit one out of the park. This is the same engine. This is an 88 model. 88, 98, 2008, all the way to 2018 when they finally discontinued it and when they reintroduced it, essentially the same motor. The, the 2022 is fuel injected, but I don't like the, the, the overbuilt look of the new ones, the big, giant, bulky tank and fairing. I really like this style bike. In fact, I'm a little bit jaded. I can ride any bike I want here in the museum. We've got a huge selection of bikes that we own and bikes that are on display here. And my daily rider, the bike that I ride probably as much as any other bike, is my KLR650, my 2004, which I affectionately named Big Black. It's all black. Um, I absolutely love it. This bike here is rare to find in this kind of condition with low miles. It only has 3,700 miles. It's been completely gone through by the techs here at Kaplan Cycles, starting with the brand new Michelin, Michelin Anarchy Wild front tire and rear tire that we just put on there. Big upgrade over the stock tire. Handles like a dream on or off-road with those tires. That's what I have on my 650. I absolutely love it. Uh, it has the air front fork so you can add air, make it as stiff as you want. And the previous owner upgraded the rear shock with a, with a huge upgrade. I didn't even know these were available. Um, this is a Penske rear shock, which uh, isn't an upgrade I, I knew was, was, was uh, available. So the upgrade's been, it's, it's upgraded Penske shock. It's got the uh, gold chain, with the black sprocket, the Michelin Anakees on there. Other than that, it's mostly original, but it's been massaged to perfection mechanically and cosmetically. We spent quite a bit of time in the detail shop. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second, but let's talk about the mechanics first. The gas tank was removed and rinsed out completely by carbonate sodium blasted. A brand new fuel pecock was put on along with new fuel line and fuel filter, as you can see. Uh, the carburetor was removed, put in the carb cleaning tank and completely dismantled, cleaned, and uh, the jets were all cleaned out. It has a, a new K&N air filter on it. The oil was changed. The coolant was changed. The um, brake fluid was changed front and rear. They are disc brakes front and rear. And of course it has the uh, air suspension on the front, like I mentioned earlier. The original factory paint is in excellent condition, as is the plastics. In fact, this bike looks substantially better than my 2004 model did. How does that happen? Well, it was owned by an old timer who took really good care of it. Uh, we've got clean title in hand. Again, the original paint is a green stripe, blue and white, just beautiful. The original seat covers in mint shape. The original luggage rack and tool pack are intact. It still has the original License plate mounting bracket back here. It wasn't flipped over backwards or anything like Junior did the big my, my bike. I don't first time that. he rode it. I, I recall like it was yesterday. It was I, kind of a. I have no recommendation. Let's not break open Sorry, that one. I don't recall that. So from there, uh, they let me grab the work order because there's it's an extensive work order and I usually forget. I can't go all by memory all the time. Before I do uh, forget mentioning, I do have the clean title in hand, uh, Massachusetts title. So you can register this anywhere on the planet. Start with the mechanical work order. Uh, again, the fuel tank rinsed out, cleaned out, soda blasted, mounted and balanced the front and rear tires. Also torqued down the spokes, the front and rear rims. Uh, root removed and disassembled, gunked the carb uh, in, in the parts washer also. Um, carb was cleaned, jets were cleaned, reassembled, reinstalled, installed the fuel line filter, replaced the chain, changed the oil and filter, running Bell Ray 1040. Uh, K&N air filter is installed. Um, Turn signals, uh, bulbs were replaced on one of the signals. The uh, um, That's about it, test rode the bike. So the detail shop, the, the um, detail shop got the bike next and they went through and steam cleaned the bike, degreased it. The entire engine, the, uh, Kyle, am I correct? The entire engine was repainted? Yes. The entire engine was repainted. The exhaust was, was it removed and repainted or was it? Yep. The exhaust system was removed and professionally repainted. As you can see, it looks beautiful. The frame was touched up, the swing arm was touched up, the bars were touched up, the hand controls, the hubs, uh, the brake calipers, a um, couple little nicks on the tank, on the bottom of the tank were touched up. Uh, the wheels were polished, the original wheels, the spokes were cleaned and polished. The tank was um, 
hand waxed and buffed and polished. So, of course, the Michelin Anakees were installed, brand new tires. That's about it. Um, total of 31 and a half hours labor going through this bike. Basically stripped it right down. The exhaust, tank, seat, carb, um, wheels, everything came off. It was stripped right down to the frame engine and, and uh, forks. And, and the engine was repainted and it was carefully reassembled. Anything that needed cleaning or painting was done. So it looks like a brand new motorcycle. It, it essentially is with 3,000 miles on it. So that pretty much sums it up. 31 hours labor. Plus seven hundred dollars in parts. Kyle, is there anything you'd like to add, add about this? Uh, yeah, like like you were saying, this this thing was very meticulously gone through. I mean, it's it's pretty much as good as it was on the you know when it came off the showroom floor. This this is a really nice bike, mechanically pretty much perfect. It's these like and like you said too, these are wicked reliable, wicked fun bikes. Take them anywhere. Um, yeah, these these are great enduro bikes. One of the nicest used KLRs I've seen. Like I said, it, it's far superior to the condition my bike, Big Black, was in when it came in. But um, I, I can't underestimate. Uh, thir, uh, don't underestimate if you buy one on Craigslist that needs a carb clean. And then, and then after you're done re, redoing the whole fuel system and putting new tires and, and redoing the brakes and the battery and air filter. And, you know, you spend uh, days detailing it. Well, then you might have a bike like this. But this one's done, ready to go, needs nothing. I'd ride this thing cross country tomorrow. Uh, one of my favorite on and off road bikes. They're just a hoot to ride, and there are tons of aftermarket parts available. And let's not let's not no no review of a KLR 650 is complete without talking about the reliability of this thing. Can you zoom in on the riders at Kawasaki decals on here? It's pretty cool. Um, that's a uh, original factory stickers on there, and then uh, up on the front here, the KLR. I think that's pretty cool. Um, just in beautiful condition, even the original windshield. But as far as reliability goes, there are some YouTube channels that have actually tried to blow these things up, like went out of their way. In one review, he had held the thing wide open for an extended period of, uh, of time and then parked it in a lake with water <laughs> all, all the way up to the air box and left it there overnight to see if the electronics would get infiltrated with water. And he came back, I watched the video, when he came back, the only thing sticking out was the, the, was the uh, mirror because it had fallen over and was completely and totally submerged underwater. He took it out, somehow turned it upside down, took the spark plug out and, and turned the key on, flushed the water out, put the plug back in, and it started up and rode away. He couldn't kill it. It's probably the most durable engine ever put in a dual purpose bike. It, it's, uh, and this one's got 3,000 miles and it's been freshly serviced and, and tuned it's, and repainted. It's, it's perfect on the inside. It's perfect on the outside. Counterbalanced, liquid cooled, five-speed overdrive transmission, Michelin Anarchy tires, gold chain, a Penske upgraded shock, air forks. Guys, it don't get any better than this, and this one's a classic. That's going to give uh, years of good good service. So if you have If you babied this thing, you could probably go 30,000 without doing the tires or brakes, just dumping the oil. There's nothing you're going to have to do. To I just change the oil once, once every... Uh, 3,000 miles, and, and um, like Junior said, it'll, it, it's ready to, we, ready for the next 30,000 miles. We flog ours on a daily basis. I know, maybe you flog mine. That's why I took the key out of it. I don't want Junior riding it because I don't flog mine, but I, I, I ride it the way it's meant to be, which is two up with Christy on the highway doing 80 miles an hour or back roads cruising around or, or taking it down goat trails. They're, they're awesome. They can't for, be broken. They can't be broken. Well, that's true, but if you take care of them like I do mine and, and don't let your kids ride it, and keep it locked up it'll last forever and they are awesome off-road Chrissy have, and I have done we have a, a friend a, a, a couple that, that that rides theirs off-road extensively six gallon gas tank and they're very fuel efficient so I can't think of a better dual purpose on an off-road enduro uh, play bike than this when you think about how under stress they are they're low compression you can basically run them off of pond water you know um, and that's been proven <laughs> and, and, and think about it with uh, with a, six, a 650cc liquid-cooled motor only pumping out 30 horsepower, they're totally under-stressed. Um, but lots of torque, so it'll, it'll, it'll haul me, me and Christy around no problem. And they'll, they'll ride wheelies, take it off-road. With upgraded tires and shock, if you want to do some heavy off-road, put 10 pounds of air in the front forks and go for it. There's plenty of videos on the Internet talking about the um, durability of these, bi these bikes. You can see it's been upgraded with a nice set of Scott grips that have been carefully safety wired on. All the fluids are new. The battery's new. It's got 3,700 miles ready to go. You won't find a nicer one 
or certainly one set up as nice as this, uh, ready to go. They're just, they just don't come up that often, especially in 88. Thanks for watching, and God bless America.